Hi, I'm Daryl Gold, owner of Columbia Mist Alpacas. You can see that God has really blessed our business. From the very start uh, in 1998, we had started this farm dedicated to God as a way to meet people that we would never have a chance to rub shoulders with. Since I was a small kid, my parents taught me to have an investment project every year. My alpacas are my investment project that continues from year after year. In 1998, we bought our first purchase of about eight alpacas and we've raised well over 150 alpacas. When we first started, we wanted to raise high show quality animals because we knew that that would be something that would always be marketable. And 16 years later, we know that we made the right decision. Just this last year, we were fortunate to have the second highest rated stud out of 15,000 males registered in the United States. His name is Columbia Mist Valadars Armando. I know with our partnership with God, each year he sells alpaca. One of the things that we did early on in this business is to dedicate 20% of every alpaca sales to God for missions for third world countries. Not only do we travel to Peru, which is the native country of the alpaca, but we also go at the Quiet Hour. I'm a board member of Quiet Hour and we take a lot of trips. I think our last trip was to Panama. I know that God has blessed our business in a big way. Since 2009, the economy has not been the best. And when you have to decide between food and gas and buying an alpaca, the alpaca would be the very last thing somebody might buy. Many of our fellow breeders struggle in sending their alpacas to Saturday auctions to sell them and are totally amazed that our alpacas are sold with less advertising. We know that God sells these animals and constantly pray that when he needs money for missionary projects that he'll continue to sell them and he follows through every year. We sell directly off the farm to people and we've been selling consistently each year. Come on out and see a baby alpaca with my wife Ruthie and I. We have about 42 alpacas right now, four babies and 38 mommies and males and females and we have four more babies to come this summer. This is a little baby named Shavona. She's about two and a half, three weeks old and Shavona is an Irish name that means God is gracious. That's our guard dog and he takes care of the animals especially at night when the cougars out and the bears are out and what he does is he goes around the edges of the fence and barks and so those animals don't come near. We've never lost an alpaca because we have our Great Pyrenees guard dogs. Alpacas are a smaller animal, about a third the size of a llama, and they're used for their fleece. Their fleece is wonderful for clothing and mittens and gloves and hats and sweaters. Just to give you an idea, this is our sorting room and right after animals are sheared, the first part of summer, all the fiber comes in here and it gets sorted and ready for the mill. We're really into alpacas. We have everything from our bedspread to rugs to carpets. There's alpaca bears. There's two different kinds of alpacas. Uh, both of them are very soft and luxurious. This happens to be a wakaya. And here I've got a surrey. You can see how the surrey is a lot more silkier and this one's more fluffy. Surrey. Wakaya. Welcome to Delightful Treasures. Everything you see in this store, part of Columbia Mist Alpacas, is made out of alpaca. This hat, uh, socks, scarves, teddy bears, stuffed animals, coats, sweaters, everything's made out of alpaca. I don't know what God has blessed you with, but I encourage you to use your time and talents for Him right now, today. Uh, or, at least, if you don't have any ideas, come join me on a Quiet Hour mission trip. You can call me on my cell phone number, 503-407-5943.